This is a video tutorial of the written guide on wiiu.hacks.guide. It will be linked in the video description. The guide can change at any time, so make sure to have the website open during the entire tutorial. Before beginning the guide, you must know the risks of Wii U hacking. Every time you modify your system, there's always the potential for an unrecoverable brick. They're rare, but still a possibility, so make sure you follow all directions exactly. Now with that out of the way, let's go! The things you need for this tutorial are an SD card with 32GB or more storage, a computer and internet access on both your computer and your Wii U. On your Wii U, open up the system settings. On your Wii U gamepad, you will see the current system version in the top right corner. For the American region, the latest update is 5.5.6. For PAL regions, it's 5.5.5. If you're running anything lower than that, update your system. To do so, select the second to last option on your Wii U gamepad and click on system update. This might take a few minutes, so be patient. This step is different for HacksG and Coldboot HacksG users. Follow the steps accordingly. I do not have Coldboot HacksG installed, so I cannot show it in video form. Read the written guide for more information. If you have Coldboot HacksG installed, follow these instructions to uninstall it. For non Coldboot HacksG users, open up the system settings again and go to Data Management. Click on Copy, Move, Delete Data and select System Storage. Find the HacksG application and delete it with all of its data. On the wiiu.hacks.guide website, download the latest version of Tiramisu and the latest version of Sickpatches module. Extract the Tiramisu zip file and then plug in your Wii U's SD card into your computer. The extracted zip file contains one folder and a versions.json file. Copy these two to the root of your SD card. The sickpatches.rpx file has to go into Wii U environments Tiramisu modules setup. Just copy the file over into that folder. Remove the SD card from your computer and plug it back into your Wii U console. Turn on your Wii U console and open up the internet browser. From here navigate to wiiuexploit.xyz. Click on run exploit and hold the B button until you see a menu. Navigate to NAND dumper using the gamepad and press A to launch it. Leave all options on default and press A to start the dumping process. You will see the progress on the Wii U gamepad. Be patient, this can take quite some time. When the dumping process is completed, power off your Wii U console, take your SD card out and plug it back into your computer. Now copy the full new created bin files to a safe place on your computer. You may need these backup files if you break your console. Run the browser exploit again, but this time instead of holding the B button, hold down the X button. You will now be inside of the environment loader. Press A to launch the installer. Press the A button to check if you can install the payload loader. It should now tell you that the payload loader can be installed onto the health and safety information app. Press the A button to select Install Update. You will be asked if you are sure you want to install the payload loader. Use the D-pad to select Install and press A. After installing finishes, press A to shut down the console. Turn your console back on again. Then launch the Health and Safety Information app and hold the X button to open the Environment Loader menu. Press A to open up the installer again. Press A to select check and then select boot options. You'll be asked if you want to switch the boot title. 
press A to select Switch to Payload Loader. When the process finished, press A to shut down the console. The payload loader will now be launched automatically on every boot. Turn your Wii U back on again. The environment loader should show up. Using the D-pad, navigate to Tiramisu and press Y to set this as your default environment. Then press A to launch into Tiramisu. You might get a red warning screen telling you that updates aren't blocked properly. Press A to continue anyway. On the Tiramisu boot selector, the Wii U menu should already be selected. Press Y to set this to your default auto-booting option. Then press A to launch into the Wii U menu. To block future updates on your console, we'll have to use a tool called UFDEEN. You can download it from the link in the description. Extract the contents of the zip file to the root of your SD card. If it says that the folder exists already, just merge the files. Plug the SD card back into your Wii U console and launch Tiramisu. To get to the homebrew launcher, open up Mii Maker. Now click on the UFD app to open it. Press the A button to delete the update folder. Confirm that it says update folders deleted. Then press the home button to exit out of UFD. And that's it. You've now updated your Wii U system from HaxG to Tiramisu successfully. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and leave comments down below if you've got any issues.